every moment before the meeting to call you back. Well, that's okay. no problem. Now you're, at at your convenience. Gone. We're ready? Go ahead. Okay. Welcome to the meeting of the Mayor and Council Bar of Oakland, Wednesday, June 10th. Roll call. Mayor Schwager. Here. Councilman Bialy. Here. Councilman Knapp. Here. Councilman Levy. Here. Councilman Pignatelli, absent. Alamini. Here. Councilman Van Eck. Is he coming on? Here. Is Pat coming on? I, I have no idea. I, I just texted him. So did I. I told him exactly what he had to do. He had to, you know. Okay. Somebody tell uh, Pat if I if I can do it, he can do it. All right. We, we'll dispense with the salute. Moment of silence for all that is happening and for all of us. Please uh, bow your heads in a moment of silence. Thank you. This meeting is being held in accordance with the open public meetings law and with the guidelines for a virtual meeting, duly announced, advertised, and posted in the municipal building. And my mayor's report for this evening is as follows. I'm making this announcement first. Um, I, I made this announcement during my phone message on Monday evening, but so special, I wanted to repeat it. Congratulations to the Indian Hills High School team, being one of two Bergen County High Schools to receive the $10,000 grand prize in a statewide competition to promote teen driver safety. The contest required students to choose a teen driving safety topic and use tools to spread the message. This was the first entry and win for Indian Hills. Their click, clack, front and back campaign emphasized the importance of seatbelts for all vehicle occupants. The 11 team student produced a YouTube video to support the message. That's, that's impressive. A $10,000 grant was won. And now I hope that adults see this video because as you know, many adults do not wear their seatbelts. Message from the Oakland Public Schools. After receiving mails from residents as to a way to celebrate Oakland's fifth and eighth grade grads, I contacted Councilman Russ Talmini, our, our liaison, who I'm sure contacted the Board of Ed and Richard, and we contacted with the um, superintendent, and we have a good news. This, they're, having, was it always, uh, they're having their virtual graduation for Valley Middle School Friday evening, 6.30. This is a virtual graduation. However, during the day on June 19th, they're going to have a wave parade for fifth grade children at Manitou, Dogwood and Heights at one o'clock and for the for Valley Middle School at three o'clock. And each school will send out notification to the parents. I already saw the Manitou School. Um, and I'm sure there'll be more which will be said about this. Well, this is great news for all of you who miss shredding in May. Um, there were a lot of people who shredded their documents. There was a big lineup. The truck filled up very quickly. So there were people who did not get to shred their documents. So mark this down, Councilman. The new shredding date is on Saturday, June 20th, 9 to 1. However, make a note of this. It's 9 to 1 or whichever comes first, if the truck fills up, it stops no matter what time because they can't go beyond the truck filling up. And there's going to be a maximum of four boxes of documents. Census form, everyone please submit your census form online. It is so easy, so quick. And I, I just continue to repeat this as much as I can because it is simple, it's quick, and it's private. Many people are afraid to fill out the census form thinking that personal identifiers will be found, but it will not. You do not identify anything personal 
and it does help us with our federal and state funding. The more people do, the more we receive. Um, from the rec, there's a lot of confusion about the use of recreation fields. Our recreation commission, who is working so hard to comply with the governor's directives and at the same time open up as much as possible. And speaking of the governor's directives, it is very confusing. And we all admit how confusing it is what's open, what's not open, when is it opening, how much is opening. So um, after speaking with our board administrator and um, Michael, our assistant board administrator, we're going to compile a list of businesses and events and activities and the dates that they can open so that we all know when we can sign up to get our haircuts, go to the nail salon, or whatever it is you choose to go to. And um, that we hope to have that, I think, Richard, by, by Friday. We hope to have the list you're, completed, you're and we'll get it out to everybody on our website. The governor lifted the stay-at-home order. However, it is recommended, whenever practical, stay at home, as we're doing with this Zoom meeting. We're all in our own homes, and um, we're able to do this meeting. So with that, I'll entertain a motion to open to the public. So moved. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. All right. Michael, is there anybody? If you're a member of the public, please uh, click on the raise your hand icon on the bottom right hand side of your screen or click on your name, sidebar, raise hand. Motion to close. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Approval of minutes, May 27, 2020. So moved. Second. Any additions, corrections, or suggestions? If not, roll call. Councilman Bialy. Yes. Councilman Knapp. Yes. Councilman Levy. Yes. Councilman Talamini. Yes. Councilman Van Ack. Yes. Looks like we have some hands raised. Maybe they came in late. Michael? I didn't a couple. I didn't start late. I uh not used to um Zoom. I use WebEx all the time with my job, so I couldn't find the raise hand button. Sorry. Do we do we want to make a motion to go public? back to public? Motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Yes. So whoever speaks has to give us your name and address. Okay. Uh, hopefully you guys can see me. Uh, I, can't, I guess I can't start the video. Um, my name is John Paul Renato. I am at 30 Whittier Lane, W-H-I-T-T-I-E-R. Um, and I have three children in town. My daughter is a junior at Indian Hills. Uh, I have uh, a boy and girl twin uh, who uh, is our freshman this year. My son is a member of the Indian Hills uh, ice hockey team as well, and uh, I, I was uh, able to um, get on the call uh, by uh, invitation by Grant Van Eck. Uh, and what I would like to know is if there's any chance of being able to get the roller rink open so that we can go down with our kids um, and play some roller games. Um, I know that the uh, commissioner, not the rec commissioner, but the uh, street hockey commissioner, Rick Wyman, is also interested that there's a bunch of us men who play during the evening um, as well as you know some of the uh, younger co coaches uh, that are interested in getting back to activities as well. Are you the person who emailed me? I uh, yep, uh, that would be me. And I asked, and I answered you that it's a good question. Absolutely. Um, I I I also asked our governor's rep. I go on these calls with the governor's rep with other mayors. Um, I talked to Mike Guadnino, I talked to our borough um, administrator, Richard Kunz, about this issue. And I, I, isn't group sports starting soon, Richard? Uh, yeah, we're planning on opening up the, uh, the roller hockey rink on the 22nd. Okay, does that answer that? That does. And by, na by nature, we all wear gloves uh, in the roller hockey, so uh, we don't lose our fingers. And don't you also uh, wear masks anyway to protect your face? 
Uh, if uh, we some of us follow the rules, yes. Uh, and right, actually, to protect, you know, to protect your teeth, isn't that why? Uh, yeah, my mother would agree with you. I've uh, lost <laughs> seven pairs of teeth while playing. Oh <laughs> no! <laughs> so you got one week to get ready. Excellent. Thank you. I appreciate you uh, giving me the chance to speak. Thank you. Don't thank you for speaking, Michael. Next up, I have Al D. Giacomo. That's D. Giacomo. Can you hear me? Al, yes. I haven't heard you in a long time. We need your address. Uh, 24 Long Hill Road. Hi. Haven't heard from you. I'm good to hear you. Well, I'm always around. Uh, okay, that's good. I, I agree with you, Mayor. Uh, the governor is very confusing. He's very good at what he does, but he's very confusing, and I'm not quite sure if that's uh, an avenue to go through. But I guess I'm glad that he caught on to what Grant has been saying for a long time about the passive rec recreation. I'm not going to go on about it, but there's a sign that's being cut off. A lot of information is being censored. Uh, me, By whom? Um, Twitter. Uh, oh, oh. YouTube. So oh, on social it, media you're talking about. Well, yeah, the media. But but here, here again, um, if you don't have discourse amongst people, we're more apt to follow, say, like the World Health Organization, which just came out yesterday and said, we don't have a, um, asymptomatic transmission. So a lot of the things that we did um, if people are not telling us the truth, we're going to lose faith. Now, I, I realize that people have been sick, people have died. I'm not going to take that away. But let's really try to listen to some of the things that push our thoughts to the limit. I think we have to start thinking. If not, we're just all going to get onto a cattle car one day. But I'm glad the governor has finally come around to what Grant has been saying for for a long time now, I'm glad the passive uh, rec recreation is going to be open, and I'm, I'm, I'm glad of that. So maybe, I know Grant's young, and he's got some ideas, but, and he's kind of, and he pushes hard because he's young, just like the people who were downtown last Tuesday. If we can grant people to be young, we can grant it to Grant. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. And I, I think what's happening is the governor is, is taking, um, listening to his his inner circle. I don't think he's listening to us, though I, I hop on it with the governor's rep and all the other mayors too, but we'll see. We're trying to bring um, the last conference call I had with all the mayors. We're asking the governor to allow us in the municipalities to be the ones to see what's going on because each town is different and each city is different so we'll see what happens somebody tried to get on michael is zach fox michael hi yeah zach fox uh 19 boulder run hi hi how are you i'm new to town um we me and my wife just moved in uh around january um, I work in the medical field, so I've been, you know, pretty affected by what's been going on. And I'm just curious, I've heard a few things from my neighbors about houses being targeted um, for having an American flag outside of the house. And um, I'm just curious what the, the town and the police department is doing to, to stop that from happening. What? Bobby from uh, the uh, Public Safety, have you heard anything? Nap, Councilman Nap. Muted, Doc. Um, sorry. I haven't heard anything from the police department. Richard, have you? No, I haven't heard that at all. So, uh, Mr. Fox? Yeah. Where is this happening? I've heard it from some neighbors and some from some other people who live around the town. So, in the reserve? Not in just the reserve, in other parts of town. I, I grew up in Wyckoff, so I have a few friends who are in other parts of the town. Linda, Linda, hang on. So I read about it too. It's been on social media. <clears throat> I I got a I had a massive American flag on my front front lawn, mm -hmm. and no intention of taking it down. Um, 
I don't know what the police can do to prevent that. We can't station somebody at everyone's house. I, I personally think it was just a lot of people spewing. Um, I'll bring it up with the police chief, but uh, I don't really know what they can do. And I and and like I said, my I got a huge flag, and, and I'm proud as hell of it, and I will never take it down. Zach, Zach yeah. Fox. Yes. Um, if you could personally email me with anything you hear specifically, I'd really appreciate that. Okay. Um, I also had a second question. My second question is, working in the medical field, obviously, I know it's been hectic and hearing different things from the governor. What have you guys exactly done on the local level to have conversations with the governor about opening up our small businesses? Because taking a look at the town, everything shut down, but we had the ability to have 200 plus people walk down the streets all together from Indian Hills High School and be in close quarters and potentially be infected by the virus, but we can't have 25 people go into a barber shop to have their hair cut. So what is your question? My question is, is what have you been doing and what has the town been doing on the local level to have conversations with the governor to find out when and what could be as quickly and safely as possible? As I stated earlier, I am on conference calls almost daily. I text the governor's rep as much as I can to get answers. And I think that is why he just increased the number because of all the protesting. But email me and we'll talk. Mayor, I'm sorry, can I just interject? Well, uh, uh, what's the matter? Well, as I understand it from the, from the, from the bylaws, the public session is not for a, di a discourse between us and the public. That's it's correct. for residents to be able to speak. I mean, I'm just, if, if we're not doing that anymore, it's fine. I just was curious. Now, you are absolutely correct, Councilman, and that's why I asked him to email me so that we could speak. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for pointing yeah. that out. Anybody, was Thank that you. a teacup, John Yakimic? He had a, 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 a tea kettle or? Yeah, it yes. a yeah I, I, I think it was time to make some tea. That's all. Oh, I thought maybe it was, uh, you know, you rub a, a lantern. Anybody else, Michael? Yes, next up is Cindy Quaderis. Who? Cindy Quaderis, um, uh, 92 Hi. Seminole Avenue. Um, just wanted to know if we were able to proceed with telling the members of Oakland Team Tennis that we can start playing on the 22nd. Rich? I will find out and get back to you. Uh, Mayor, you. Uh, Mayor yes. if, if I may. Um, you may recall that Mike sent an email yesterday. Uh, it was, I think you were on it. Grant was on it. Um, so we're going, you know, back and forth to make sure that everything is kind of in order in terms of starting at team sports and they're complying with the CDC guidelines and whatnot, uh, so that these activities can start up as soon as the 22nd. Uh, we do anticipate that team tennis uh, will be able to to start when organized sports can start again. Good. Thank you. Anybody else, Michael? No one else, Mayor. All right, now a motion to close. Motion to move. close again. <laughs> Second. Again. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All Aye. right, we still have the executive minutes of May 27, 2020. If there's going to be any discussion, it has to be done in executive session. Is there a motion to approve? So moved. Second. Will there be any discussion? If not, roll call. Councilman Bialy. Yes. Councilman Knapp? Yes. Councilman Levy? Yes. Councilman Talamini? Yes. Councilman Van Ack? Yes. We had a request to put a pride banner at Bush Plaza. Uh, uh, what, for what time frame, uh, and I don't mind the banner, we did it last year, but there's, right now there's two, and then when Ramapo High School puts theirs, there'll be three. Um, when I was asked about this, I had mentioned that, that the high school was going to put it up before and after graduation. Unfortunately, it's the same time because this is, this, this is Pride Month. And um, I asked her and I asked the ladies who had called me, I said, if you could be creative and find another spot, um, any suggestions? I have a suggestion. Uh, there's a spot, whether we we have them put their banner there, or maybe we move the thank you banner. Um, there's a piece of property between the first aid building and the police department. It's kind of like a, 
there's a couple of benches there. It's like a little park. Um, is that Rotary Park? No, no, it's it's south of the police station, right before the first aid building. It's right between the two buildings. Um, oh, oh, oh. Something can yes, go there. Yes, this, oh, between the sign? No, on the other after, side. After the police station sign and before the entrance to the first aid squad. Anybody have any, any questions about that? Oh. Anybody want to add something to that? I, I guess I, I have... Are you being recognized? I have a you question. Are... I mean, I saw it was just one sentence. What happened? Grant lost his internet connection. He froze. Can you hear? Can you? Can You're you hear? You're freezing. We can't hear you. No. Anybody else? Can anybody you. else speak? Could anyone else speak? I can speak. Can you I can you speak. want to say something? I think my connect my connection went out. There you are. All right, what did you want to say? Can everybody hear me? In and out. You know, it's like when you have a cell phone and you're going in and out of hot spots. Okay. Anybody else? Does anybody no, want to make a motion? Well, I think well, we have a motion to do what at this point? And we I don't know, to... Bobby. What's that? I I didn't suggest motion. I you just asked if there's anywhere else, and I just suggested. And and oh. quite quite honestly, Mayor, I think before we can make a motion to do it or not, if we're going to put the pride banner, if we're going to let them put the pride banner down at this alternate location, I think we ought to ask them first. If that's what if that's acceptable to them. I don't well, know how we can make a motion on something without is that kind borough of checking property? with everybody. Yes. Well, then yeah. by the time we have our next meeting, the Pride Month will be over. Yeah. And so what would you like to do? Mayor, if I can ask Lisa a question. Uh, have any of the parents from Indian Hills contacted you about actually placing the banner? Because I haven't heard it's anything. There. It's, it's there. It's there. Okay. It's there. They put it up today. Oh, they put it up today? Yeah. They had, there's one in Bush Plaza and one at the high school, and now Ramapo is coming there. Okay. Well, if there's anybody who um, has the Pride banner, why don't we hold this discussion until later on in the, in the meeting, and maybe someone will speak during the um, public portion later on and could come up with some ideas and requests for us. So we'll move on oh, oh. to employment of the Environmental Commission. Yes. Mayor, Councilman Mayor. Knapp wanted to speak. Uh, yes. well, I want to, Grant was had a comment before, and maybe he's back. He's uh, back. Continue. He's, he's mute. Mute. Just, my, yeah. my connection's really bad, and I keep getting dropped out of the meeting and put back in. I don't know if anybody can hear me. It's very choppy on my end, uh, and I hear. apologize. You're good we now. What did you want to say? Well, if we're, I could say it later in the meeting if we're going to bring it back up. I think maybe we should bring it back up. So this way, if anybody who is interested in placing the banner would like to say something or give, you know, ask us for suggestions. The other thought. thought the other thought is we can we can relocate our thank you banner to that spot I just mentioned, and the and the pride banner can go in Bush Plaza as as the third banner. Um, this is an exception year. We don't normally allow three banners, but I think we have to bend the rules a little bit to appease everyone. I agree with you, Councilman, because this is the year where everybody has banners, one signs, you name it. Um, it's so just it, just a very difficult time in history. So but, my, my question was basically, um, what are our rules and, and restrictions and regulations on banners in the space and who we can approve to put up a banner, who we can't approve to put up a banner, um, and how all this works? Is there some information or uh, yes, we have a sign. Yes, we have a sign ordinance. However, as Bobby Knapp just said, this particular year we've been waiving all kinds of rules and regulations because of what's happening. So you can't pick and choose which group you're going to regulate and not regulate other banners. 
That would be that would be unconstitutional. Excuse me, Mayor Nylema. Perhaps you? you could send Here? Councilman Van Eck a copy what? of the sign ordinance. Please. I'm sorry, what? You know, just just give me a minute. I'll pull it up online here and let you know what it is. Okay. okay. Uh, so while Rich is doing that, if it's okay, then then I would I'll put a, a a motion on the floor to move our thank you banner down to that spot between PD and first aid, and to allow the the pride banner in Bush Plaza as a third so, banner. There a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Thank that, you. So that would be for the month of June, correct? So that'll be down That's there. it. That's the month. That, that's Pride Month. That's Lisa, great idea. Mm -hmm. well, I'm idea. sorry. I'm month. sorry, Lisa. Do you have? Can you see Councilman Van Eck, even if you can't hear him? Yeah, I can see He's him. He's on mute. So maybe He's when, on mute maybe, right now. I'm just saying maybe when the mayor calls for a roll call or calls for aye, he can do a thumbs up, thumb down. So make sure you get him. Well, he's okay. on mute right now. I'll okay. try and look when I when I'm trying to do my roll calls too. I'm looking down at the paper, but I'll try. I have to... I have a connection that for whatever reason tonight everybody looks frozen to me. I can hear your voices, but I can't see the images or the video, so it's a little confusing. Okay. All right. Let's move yeah, on. It's just to... another Tuesday at my house. Let's move on to appointments. Uh, we're very fortunate to have someone to uh, would like to be a part of the Green Team Environmental Commission, Elizabeth Ochoa, and um, she would be an alternate too. She is a student, and um, this is very exciting. And um, environment, where is, oh, Pignatelli is not I'm on. He's on now. Are I'm, you on? Yes. Um, do you know, we're asking for um, Elizabeth, Achoa, would you like yeah. to make the motion? Sure, I uh, make the motion that Elizabeth Achoa be appointed to the Environmental Commission. Second. Second. All in favor? Second. Aye. Aye. Elizabeth, please contact Borough Hall, um, Elisa Duncan, our borough clerk, so that you can get all the paperwork and be a part of it. We now have, and thank you, Elizabeth, we now have um, public hearing on the budget amendment 20-155 adoption of the budget um motion to open to the public so moved. So moved. Second. second all in favor aye. Aye. aye this is just for the public to speak about just the budget amendment motion to close second so moved Second, right. I mean. Adoption of the budget is the motion to approve 20-155. So um, moved. I think Councilman Talamini should, should do that. He did such a great job this year off that. So moved. Do you want to second? Second. Me? Any second. discussion? Roll call. Councilman Bialy. Yes. Councilman Knapp. Yes. Councilman Levy. Yes. Councilman Pignatelli. Uh, before I vote, and I'd like to read a statement, please. Before I vote, I have an obligation to state my reasons for my decision. We're all aware of the drastic changes to our lifestyle since the beginning of the coronavirus epidemic. In March, the record reported 22 million people were unemployed nationwide. It then went to 26, to 30, 33, and now 42 and a half million people. This has affected 9% of the households. If we apply this to Oakland, 400 to 500 residents here in Oakland are unemployed. Employers also cut 21 million jobs in April. The record reported on May 7 that others have suffered pay cuts. Some who have lost jobs won't be able to look for work amid widespread shutdowns and won't even be counted as unemployed. Some of these numbers haven't been seen since the Great Depression. On May 11th, one of the headlines read, the outbreak could co force taxes in New Jersey to rise because the state would have to borrow $9 billion. This would result in an increase in sales tax and property tax. In normal times, some people have difficulty paying real estate taxes. I just can't see raising taxes above the 2% cap as we have done in the past. 
last week, if you remember, we had the uh, demonstration in Oakland. And one of the police officers introduced me to a, a lady, a resident, and said, uh, Excuse me, are you voting on this motion? And, and you should have done that during discussion. So could you please get to the point of your vote? Just, I'm at the last sentence. I was, a lady introduced me, I mean, someone introduced me to a lady who was a senior citizen. She said, Pat, I've lived here 40 years. If taxes keep going up, I just can't, I, I can't stay here. So I stand with the, the, uh, the senior citizens and, and the unemployed because of the extreme conditions. I vote no on the 2020 budget. Thank you. Next. Councilman Talamini. Yes. Councilman Van Ack. I'd just like to say I think everybody did a great job uh, going through this process for the first time. I want to thank David and Rich and everybody who spent a lot of time uh, when I first came on board going over things with me. And um, I appreciate the fact that so many of my recommendations uh, were taken into consideration and adjustments were made, um, but I still stand firm that uh, the, this is too much of an increase, so I have to vote no. Next time, please do this during discussion, both you and Councilman Pignatelli. All right, this I wasn't was, on yet, though. At this not. time, at this time, the vote passes. Is that correct, Lisa? Yes. And um, the other problem we have is when the statements were made about two or three years ago and, and there was a refusal to raise any taxes, this is one of the problems we have right now, which is why we had to raise it this year. And if we don't do the budget this year, thank goodness it was voted, it would be a tremendous, a tremendous increase the following year. And that would be a total disservice to the public. And point of order, we'll move point on of to order. Point of uh, order under Robert's rules, please. Well, Excuse wait, me? but we've already, we've already left Robert's rules when you guys made comments after yes. we were supposed to okay. vote. Uh, excuse me, we're out of order right now. Resolutions, uh, we'll do it as a consent agenda unless you wish to have any pulled out. Resolution 2156, which is Chapter 159, Roots for Rivers Grant, Roosevelt Boulevard. And this is the notification of our Roots for Rivers Grant in the amount of $2,171.90 from the Watershed Institute for the Re Re Roosevelt Reforestation Park. Resolution 2157 is to authorize return of found money. So when people find money and they return it to the police department, they have to hold it until such time passes. As with Gurmeet Rover, he turned in $1,823. More than six months have passed and no one's made a claim. That's mine. <laughs> you make the claim. Do they do? Resolution 2158 <coughs> authorizes return of found money to find her. Again, that's Megan Rotundo. She found $100, and more than six months have passed. <laughs> Resolution 2159, authorized approval of update of the recreation and open space inventory, also known as the Rossi, and this is for an updated Rossi plan. And you have the attached recreation and open space inventory attached. 2160 is to authorize refund of recreation uh, fees in the total amount of $478. Chuck Manzo, 9 Siena Way, $78 for softball. Cindy D'Alto, 3 Spears Street, $150 for the TGA Spring Break Camp. Lauren Gallo, 33 Princeton Terrace, $125 TGA Spring Golf. John Golden, 9 Sioux Avenue, in the amount of $125, TGA Spring Golf. Uh, resolution 20-161, a resolution consenting to the proposed Northeast Water Quality Management WQM Plan Amendments, Block 3603, Lot 2. And that is, um, uh, that is this, this is for the Guru Nanak Inc. Uh, our church. Resolutions when they had to amend the water management plan. Resolution 20-162, authorized refund or redemption of overpayment, and that is for certificate number 18-4, 23 Waters Edge, the amount of $9.
And that is it. If there's any wishes motion. to pull out? If not, a motion to approve? Motion to approve. Second. Go call. Councilman Bialy. Yes. Councilman Knapp. Yes. Councilman Levy. Yes. Councilman Pignatelli. Yes. Councilman Talamini. Yes. Councilman Van Ack. Yes. Okay, we have under work session. I'm told this was put up by Councilman Pignatelli. Welcome to Open Signs. Yes, uh, Mayor, thank you. Uh, about a, a week or 10 days ago, uh, we received a email from uh, Richard that the welcome signs were in and that they'd be installed shortly. Uh, I called Richard up and I said, you know, Richard, I, I really don't remember seeing anything regarding this. And he said, yeah, Pat, uh, the mayor um, um, uh, suggested it in her January 22nd meeting. Um, I said, yeah, but you know, I, I don't remember any lengthy discussion on it. I know when we had the banners in town, uh, that were gonna be put up in town, Michael came to the meeting and had a lengthy discussion about the color, the size, what it would say, et cetera, et cetera. And then he said that um, this would be sponsored by local businesses or uh, 5013C organizations. When I looked at uh, Richard's um, list, it's not just being sponsored by uh, businesses or 5013Cs. I was wondering, I thought we had established this as our criteria for putting up signs, and I don't remember any discussions. And, and how did we get to, to this, that, that people are sponsoring signs? I may announce at the February 12th meeting, one of my messages when I first, you know, I give my mayor's message, this mm -hmm. was brought up in January, and it was brought up again in February. On February 12th meeting, I said, the borough is seeking one final sponsor for the new Welcome to Oakland signs, which are being installed this spring. Locations for the signs are the entrances into our town. The last available location is Breakneck Road at the Wayne Oakland border. If interested, contact Michael Corelli at Borough Hall. That was the February meeting when we talked about it in January. Applications were sent out. We spoke about it. We looked at the color, we, uh, everybody saw pictures of the signs, and actually it was brought up when Eric Kamala was still on the council, he kept complaining we didn't have nice open signs. So it started even before January. So what is the question? The question is we did not discuss it. You, you made, wait a minute. We brought up in January and February. Okay, let me, okay. And I quote from the minutes. Mayor Schwager, advisor Barrow, is asking for donations for the welcome signs uh, to Oakland. Each sign costs $1,500. That was January, two sentences. Then in February, there will be new welcome signs to Oakland for all the entrances to the borough. Each sign has a sponsor. There is one available on Breakneck Road. Another two sentences. That's all, I, 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 never, saw, I never saw a sample of the sign and, and I never heard that we were changing from businesses sponsoring it now to people sponsoring it. Uh, Councilman, I anybody else on the council Lee, remember you that? Have hands I, up. Remember. I, I do. So I do recall this was brought up number one on, on a couple of occasions. And, and Pat, I mean, in all honesty, even when those sentences were said, you know, and, and I want to be forthright, you know, when I was told that we didn't, we didn't, we weren't able to sell all these signs, I said, okay, fine, I'll take one. So I'm, I, you know, it needs to be set up front that I have one. Um, Who told you that? I'm trying to help the town. Uh, the signs aesthetically look a lot to me like the signs that we used to have that, that came down. So it's not, this is not a new design. Um, I mean, Rich, is, since we're not using public money, is this something, or maybe Nilema, do we have to have a resolution for this? Did we do something out of, out of order here? I'm referring to past practices. Our past practice was that businesses and uh, that's but I'm, but we my never point had that a past is, practice on signs. Yes, my point, my point banners. is the signs are aesthetically the banners. The same sign. They're not banners. The signs are the same as the former signs. So my question again to either Rich or Nilema is: Did we violate any ordinance, statute, law? 
Do we have to have a resolution? To, maybe, and maybe Pat's right. Maybe we were supposed to have a resolution to do this. Is that, is that Bridget, correct? Bridget, Bridget, can you address to, it? Yeah, I can. To, to answer the question, I don't think that this body did anything that violated any existing ordinances, statutes, and the like. You can certainly create a policy. My recommendation would be if you want to move forward with the, with the signs tonight, you could, you could uh, have a motion and a second. If you want a future policy, you should decide that tonight as well, or just put it on for a future date. Meaning and, and, then I, and then I need that, Rich, how many signs are there? Uh, was there not, Mike, was there nine or ten? So ten signs, if that's $15,000. So what, what would we do with the $15,000 worth of signs? Because I guess my understanding is, because I did hear it mentioned, is that we actually have the signs. They, they've been delivered and are waiting to be installed. So we have $15,000 in signs. So, Pat, as a person who voted against the budget and and is siding with the seniors, what should we do with the $15,000 in signs, and should we just buy new ones then? I, I have to, uh, I'm raising my hand. I they, can't see. I don't, can't see everybody. All right. no, I, I have a question. So uh, my question is to Pat. I, I, like, what is the problem? I, I, I'm one of the ones who bought a sign. There, there was a couple of spots left. No more businesses were stepping up. Uh, between my father and myself, we have 68 years of service to this borough. So we bought a sign from my family. I'm confused where the problem is. I paid $1,500. The, the, the way I look at the entrances, I only see five major entr entrances to the borough. That's, I don't know not why we, but that's not the point. It didn't cost the borough a dime. But we, I, we, we wait one at a time. Everybody's trying to speak at the same time. We can't we, do that on Zoom. Oh, we I, deviated wait, from wait a minute. practice. We'll speak, wait a minute. Councilman Knapp is still talking. Okay. Then Councilman Pignaton. Did you have your hands up, Councilman Salmini? No, I didn't. Oh, okay. Yeah. So but but I would that. like. But I would um, like to. Speak. So we'll do Knapp, Pignatelli, then Salmini. Okay. Well, well, Nap already asked, and I'm asking Pat what the problem is. However many signs there are, whether there's two or twenty, they're all paid for, and and I, I, I'm missing what the issue is. The issue for me is this: we had a rather lengthy discussion when Michael presented the banners, and that it would be businesses in 5031Cs. We deviated from the past practice. And as lawyers, Mayor Schwager and Lima, past practice is a, is, a via, is, is a viable argument. Excuse me, we never had a past practice because we never had signs before. That was the whole problem. Uh, the, banners. The, banners, the banners were offered to whatever business wanted. You didn't have to be a 501c3. You had to buy a banner. And, and they put the banners near the businesses. We did not have past practices. That's so, an incorrect statement. Practice. I'd like to hear Councilman Talamini has to say. Well, wait, is, are, are you ready? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. All right, so my my problems with the with the signs are, I mean, and we didn't we didn't see the signs. I, we got a we got a, a picture of the sign last week. Um, there was so much discussion with the banners that you know it, it was a little ridiculous but with the sign all of a sudden we had signs we didn't get to look at the design we didn't get to see what what was going to happen um you know so so discussion wise there really wasn't that much um i have a problem with our with our brand name being for sale having uh, having someone's personal name on it um i, I you, you know uh, it, it's you know, some you could put somebody's name on it. They could pay for it, and then and then the next day they're arrested, and now now we have their their name on this sign because they paid for it. Um, but um, and I, I just think it, it it doesn't give the right I, idea. You know, paid for by, you, you know, Oakland. Here, here we go. You, you know, I, I think the sign should be the sign. And if right. if if the people if the people who who put up the money. I don't care. They could stand next to it. We take a picture of it. Uh, we give them. We we give them a plaque that that says thank you. Um, here's no, the sign. No, and then my no, my no, next no. question is. My next question Wait a is, minute. What? My next, 
my next question is um, we're getting a lot of money for the digital sign and there's been no discussion on that. Are we going to have a, a, a big a big sign on top of that that says Coca-Cola, uh, whoever gave the money, and, and then we're going to have the sign? All right, so now the question is... Is that what's happening? Because that's what happened no one, with this. No one that's what happened. Councilman, that's what happened the discussion with these signs. was held in January and February. Applications were submitted. Applications were sent out by Michael. It was on the website. It was on the Facebook page. It was no. It was noticed. So now the question it wasn't is, sent to me. Well, wait a minute. Wait. Let it wasn't me finish. sent to me. So now and I'm on the council. It wasn't sent to I, me. You didn't get an application. You didn't look. I. You don't. Do you go into Borough Hall? I go into Borough Hall almost daily. So right. the question is, now that we have these signs, we're yeah. talking about between ten and fifteen thousand worth of people who spent the money. Do you, what do you want to do going forward? We have to set a precedent, uh, a policy, I should say. I, I would. I, I would say, uh, ask the people that gave the money, would they still give the money? And we give them the, the sign, the, uh, we, we give them, them, them something and, and do it that way. Because, but, but well, so what what's going to do with, with $15,000? You want the borrower just to pay 15,000 out? What I, do you want no, to I do? Don't, I don't want them, but I don't want the, I don't want the, the signs on the, on the town when you're coming in, welcome to Oakland sponsored by whoever. I, w I would rather it be welcome but, to Oakland. And, but the, and the old the old signs that were there, Russ, had they had sponsorships as well. well the, only the Rotary thing, Club paid for a lot of those signs. It was but the those, that, that was a the, the, you're talking about that one. It was a big billboard. It no, was a big billboard. No, 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 no. no, individual signs. It's only that big. It's not a big thing. And then there's Excuse a little square underneath I've it. I've never seen I, I've never seen a sign "Welcome to whatever town" uh, sponsored by. Usually, there's a little thing hanging there. So Mayor, what do you, all right. What do you want to do? What is this? I said. I do? said, ask the people if, if that's all right with them. We, we'll give them a plaque saying thank you. We'll take a no, picture. What do you want to do? With the 15, but wait a minute. I want, what do you want to I want do them with to the pay for it. thousand dollars worth if, of signs. If they wanted to buy the sign, if they wanted to buy the sign, they were buying it out of the goodness of their heart. Thank you. Here's here here's to Oakland. Oakland needs a sign. Here's the money. I could afford it. Thank you. Um, if it's like, about getting your name on something, then 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 what is it? I, I, I you know if and if they don't want to do it, then we have to figure something right, else councilman, out. Councilman, but, but I understand. So moving forward, so now we have well, fifteen. I, I'd like to speak 15, too. I'm speaking. Now we have fifteen thousand dollars worth of signs. Yes, what do. do you want to do for these signs? Do you want the borough I, to? I want to ask back? the people. I want to ask the people that purchased them, that gave, that raised the money, to would you please be willing to to pay for these signs and not get the recognition? They already paid. I mean, they already it, paid yes. fifty thousand. Yes. Wait, yes. May I, may I? Without the recognition. May I, what are you going to do with these signs? May, Where? may I? What do you want to do with these signs? Do you want These the signs, borough to return the, the sign, money to the, the people? The names hang from the bottom. We can remove the names. They're not. Are they hanging from the bottom? You haven't even seen it. Then, I guess. Haven't you seen it? Yeah. Right. No one has. This. This was. It's. It, 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 it was done terribly. Uh, it, it, unfairly. It was. Uh, so where are the names on the sign? We they're did. at the times. They're at the bottom. Can they be? Can they be removed? They can be removed. Um, but it, it, if, if I may a little bit, and I'll, I'm going to give you my perspective and Michael's perspective on this. Okay, it, it was brought up, maybe not now to our understanding of the way some council people wanted it brought up. And yes, we had a full discussion on the Vanner program. That was a brand new program. It was our understanding going into this that we were replacing signs that had been pre-existing. We weren't changing this like that. And it was a sponsorship program. We did not hear from the council saying, well, we want to have more discussion on this, or I want this, or want that. So we we proceeded. We felt, frankly, that we we're doing something positive uh, by deferring the cost from the taxpayer. So we proceeded. There was a targeted mailing out to the business community, asking them uh, to you know for their support, uh, and it, it was done as a sponsorship program. Uh, so you know that's what I can tell you. There were no restrictions in place about anybody's personal name. If their personal name was part of their business, then that's how they could choose to. Uh, have it displayed. Um, 
you know, at, at the end, there weren't more businesses stepping forward. So I understand that, a, you know, a couple of council people said, well, you know, I'll, I'll take a sign. Um, but, you know, it was it was done from my perspective in an orderly way where we sought sponsorships from our own business community to help support our own business community. Uh, because then, you know, obviously they're going to get some advertising on the sign out of it. Um, if we want to establish a policy and standards going forward, I think that that's legitimate. If council wants to say, you know, before anything like that gets done, we want to make sure that we see a rendering and we only want, uh, you know, done a certain way, you know, that, that, that's fine. But the fact is, from my perspective, we have the signs, they've been paid for, they're waiting to go up. Um, I have, Frank, I have a hard time see, seeing that we go back on anything that we've done right now. So, Mayor, may I? Leave me? A yeah. couple things. Num number one, and I think the, the issue isn't so much as what do we do with the signs that are there, because those can be thrown out, whatever. But then if we want to have welcome to open signs, it's now going to cost the borough $15,000. Quite frankly, I took a sign as, as, as a courtesy to the borough because we were, we were out. Nobody, nobody else wanted to do it. So I said, fine, I'll take a sign. If the borough doesn't want my help that way, it's fine. Take the sign, throw it out. But if you want to have signs like Councilman Van Eck, your, your running mate, you know, your campaign made a huge issue of the fact that we have the signs are all falling apart in town. They're not here anymore. I, I you know, I, I'm sure if we go back over the YouTube thing that he put up, we're going to see all kinds of mention of how important those signs were to our borough. So. You know, I, I'm, I'm not understanding, and I'm not picking on you, Grant. I'm just saying that this, you know, that's where a lot of this started out, to be honest, is that is that Eric was 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 adamant that we should have welcome signs to sound to town. Well, we now have them, and and now it seems like well, now we don't want them. I, I'm a little if we don't use these signs, I, you have I, to I, offer. If we don't use these signs, you have to offer to return all the money to the people who purchase and, the signs. And, and the which last is thing I want to just... Mayor, which is I, a pro wait a minute, let me if finish. If I can finish, Mayor. Which, oh, I thought you finished, I'm let sorry. Me, if I can finish, and, and quite frankly, as far as, as far as past practices go, I was personally involved in soliciting Columbia Bank for, and, the rec, and I'm sorry, Grant, you're on the rec commission. Maybe you remember the amount. What, how much did, 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 did Columbia Bank give us for the... Uh, for the scoreboard, or Rich, maybe you remember, ten thousand or twenty thousand. To to it was. Remember, we did the. Uh, they helped us do with the roll. Yes. Line? So we took we took twenty thousand dollars from Columbia Bank or ten that whatever the number was. It was they were extremely generous, and for that, we put their name up on a scoreboard that is standing that, over the over the roller rink. For which, That's a scoreboard. You know, Linda, you were there. Not welcome I was to there. I think. Uh, and what about the band shell? Well, is there anybody's name going on the band shell? I, 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 can I call? possibly? I wouldn't be surprised. And and what about the LED sign? Are are we? I mean, we're getting a lot of money for the LED sign. Am I am I going to see somebody's name on top? I, I don't no. even know who's giving. The Not money. mine. It's too much. Are, yes, we gonna, are we going to see someone's name, or is it just going to be an LED sign? That's, uh, that's what this, I was going to talk. I was going to try to talk to Coca. Let Rich answer. Yeah. Rich. Rich. Uh, so, so everybody understands about the LED sign. That was not done as a sponsorship program. That was a straight donation to the borough, uh, and there's not going to be any recognition. It was uh, anonymous know, on that okay. sign. So, uh, so with the donations, why, why well, couldn't we? Councilman Van Neck is up. Okay. Councilman Talmini. You could you could finish and then I'll go. Why why couldn't we go back to the people that donated the money and 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 say say that it is strictly a donation and we're not going to have your name on it and if and and if not maybe we look for 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 more people 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 that that don't mind. Want to donate, donate money? money. Want to donate? I, I don't have the money to do it. If I could, I would. I don't I don't have the money to. Oh, what? to to purchase. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So if he had oh. the money, he would do it. Wait a minute, Van Eck wanted to speak. Let him speak. Whoa, right. Let Mayor, let Grant talk, please, and then let me talk before I frisbee my computer across the street because you can't get a word in edgewise here. Go ahead, Grant. Okay. Uh, 
just mention like the Levine family who Levine family who donates a lot of stuff in town and doesn't ask to be recognized, but was recognized not because they asked to be recognized, but because they've done so much for the community. Um, that's, those are the type of people I think uh, council, council President Levy that we're talking about here. Um, but really, I, this has been a lot of back and forth. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make a motion that there should be no names attached to the signs and uh, would like the current signs put up without the little, the bottom uh, name put on it. So my motion is Hold that it. there should Hold be it. no names attached Hold to the it. signs and therefore um, I would like a roll call vote on the motion. Just a minute, just a minute. Roll call vote on the motion, Mayor. Just yeah. a minute. Oh, you have First of all, there hasn't been a second. Just a minute. Can I get you a second? People, second? You have people, before you do that, you have people that donated, 50, was it $1,500? What was the sign? $1,500. $1,500. You can make a motion to put up a sign that someone and purchased. And Mayor, if, if, the person, person. if the person chooses to rescind their donation, I'm sure I will then work. I will work if you form an ad hoc committee. Um, I'm not we, forming an ad hoc committee. I, I'll, I'll work with you. Um, I'll work with you on finding sponsors. So um, motion and a second. There a second? There a second for Grant's motion. Pat, Pat seconded it. Second. All right, vote call. Oh, wait a minute. Bob wants to speak. Is that Bobby. all right, Councilman Grant? No. Bobby? Bob, Bob will speak. We got we... Jesus. You guys are unbelievable tonight. This is like the most ridiculous meeting. No, sec second most. I will speak after we vote this motion down. Okay. Well, should I... uh, Councilman Knapp and Councilman Lee wouldn't be Excuse a conflict me, of interest. You weren't you recognized. Vote? You weren't recognized. There's a motion on the floor and a second. Well, is there a I, vote? I I have a question about the vote. If so, uh, lose Councilman Levy's name is on one of the signs. Councilman Knapp's name is on one of the signs. Uh, I even believe your name is on one of the signs. Like, that is uh, correct. So I spent the money. Uh, so uh, Nilema. Would would they be allowed to vote on this? You guys are unbelievable. There's something underlying here that you're. Is not there anyone who wants to? I, I think. Excuse Wait, me. Can I ask you? Is I'm there sorry, anybody who wants you? to have this motion tabled? Can I ask a question, Linda? Yes. Rich, can you read off the names of the people who saw, who have signs? Um, there's a, I, there's a motion on the floor that you vote, and Nilema was asked a question. I would appreciate if Nilema would have the respect to speak. You Excuse your me, question. you're not running this meeting, nor will you. Richard, a, vote, a question was, who bought the signs? But, uh, Mayor, with, with, with respect, I think in order to kind of keep the motion in order or whatnot, we need to hear from Nilema and proceed to a vote. And then we'll go to and, you. And we can kind of come back. Okay. You want me to answer the question? What was the question again? I was there wondering There were three of us who bought signs. Do we have to recuse? Does Linda, do Linda, Bob, and myself have to recuse ourselves? You bought signs. Yes. Yes. You should. Is there anyone who wants to make a motion to adjourn? Well, okay. It's all moved. Good. That was not. You have to. Can I make a? Can Can I just be heard? I, I understand yes. that there's that there's a motion. Please. Here's what my concern is, okay? There was a sign application that was circulated to business owners and they sponsored these signs and they purchased them with the intention and the understanding that their name, business name, would be put on the sign and that's what they Correct. paid for. Correct. My concern is you're now making a motion to remove the names of uh, from from those signs. Uh, just, right. individual, right. just individual names, not businesses. Right. Oh, that's that. Oh, that is so unfair. But, that but, is but, so unfair. But but you are means... picking on certain people, Mr. Van Eck, to do that. And I don't know where you're getting your information from, but you can't yes, pick you and do. choose whose names are removed and whose names are not removed. And at uh, this point, I'm ending this discussion until we get a clarification from our attorney Brian Jukowski on this. I was just going to also add, and I agree with the mayor, this is something that was reviewed and I also discussed with Brian before tonight's meeting. If this body intends to take action, it should be done uniformly. You cannot just put a motion on the table. This will be adjourned. There was an adjournment motion, right? No. Well, 
I'd so, still like, yes, I did motion to adjourn, but I'd also like to hear the, the list of people who bought this sign. Sure, I can, I can go through that, sure. Uh, Visions Credit Union, Tire Tech Auto, uh, Andrea Levy Realtor, Chopper Russo. Excuse me? Uh, I'm sorry, who is, who is that third, that other name? Which one? Uh, Chopper? No, the one before that? Andrea Levy. Andrea Realtor. Levy? Oh, okay, Realtor. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Not right. you. So, Realtor. Uh, Robert Knapp, uh, Councilman Lou Levy, Oakland Smile Station, Laser Dentistry of New Jersey, uh, Mayor Schwager. Mayor, uh, I, I think I understand now. Okay. And we all understand what's going on here. Mayor. So anyway, it's all what's in going on, session. Mayor? Mayor, we can I ask what's, what's going on? Going... Excuse me. We're out Mayor, of what's going on? We should not be you voting understand what's going on, on what's a going work on? session item. It's a work session, a work session item. Mayor. So at this point, we don't like to know what went on. We don't love to know what went on. Hello. I have a problem that, that, that the signs are, are being, are, that, that there's names, that even businesses. I have a problem with, with sponsored by. I, um, I, I don't like coming into town with the sign, welcome to Oakland sponsored by. That's my problem. Um, okay. And it wasn't discussed. And, and uh, I don't know, I, I, I don't know why, you know, you're upset. That, that we're asking questions now because all of a sudden I'm not upset at asking questions. You can't put something on the work session and then all of a sudden um, uh, a councilman wants to vote on something. This is not the time you do that oh. during a work session. It has to go on the agenda and it will go on the agenda for the next meeting. So at this time, the signs will just sit in the borough and sit there until it's on the next session. You want to propose a motion, propose a motion for the next meeting. They'll go on the agenda. Can, can I'm sorry, Nilema, can I just ask a quick question? Sure. And, and because other than other than Linda and yourself, there are no lawyers in the room, so to speak. <laughs> Forgetting about Linda, myself, and Bob, the borough made, in essence, a contract with seven other entities. And if we, we've taken the money, would it not be a breach of contract for us to make a motion summarily that we're not we're just not going to follow through with this? That that's why I interjected. My concern is what I said to you. These business owners had a certain expectation and was based on information that was submitted to them by the borough. And I'm not saying that that was done wrongfully. They relied on that. They paid their money and they paid uh, and they paid for these signs. If if but if I can finish. So they paid for these signs, and they, ha they there was an expectation that was created. I think it's candidly not appropriate at this point in time to say that you're going to um, ask these business owners to remove their business I, names. I, I think that, that that's going to create an issue. And, and, and as a business owner, I just want to say something. You know, these And I didn't do it as a business owner. I did it as a council person. But you know what? As a small business owner, and after listening to... to Pat's very impassioned, you know, speech about people suffering from COVID. So these businesses have tied up fifteen hundred dollars of their of their hard needed resources in expectation. I mean, how long ago did, did we collect the money, Rich? Uh, back in January. January and February. So so we tied up their resources since February, waiting for these signs, and now after they've suffered through or suffering through this COVID, this COVID mess, we're now going to tell them, oh yeah, never mind. And, and to that I end, think that's if, right. and, and to that end, if action is going to be taken and has to be done uniformly, if there's going to be some form of a resolution or a policy or, or a motion, and no, no names are going to be on that sign, I think that all the money has to be returned to all of the, the sponsors. That, that's the way it has to be. There can't be selective. Where you go back and you say, you know what, you paid your money, um, but maybe take your name off. But we're going to keep, we're going to keep the the donation. It, it's it's not right. All right. So this will be on the agenda for the next meeting. In the meantime, we'll ask uh, Brian to give us um, his legal opinion and what we can do moving forward. What's unbelievable, Bob? That that this whole thing. First off, I, at least I can get a chance to talk. So I appreciate that. One. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm offended by Grant, 
wanting the personal names off but willing to leave the commercial names on. I don't understand that. Two, I don't understand you or Pat what the big deal about this is. This was brought up at two council meetings. Every time it was brought up, one sentence, two sentences, ten sentences, all three of you had an opportunity to talk about it and nobody did. And now that the signs are here and we saw the list of who's, who's on them, there's an I issue. Didn't, I, I didn't don't know. Oh, let me finish. Hold yes, on. Right. I take offense to this. Like I said, between my father and myself, we have donated or we have served this borough for 68 years. So it was a nice gesture when the signs were suggested. I'm like, you know what, that's a great thing to do. Put our family name out there that we, that we did this. We even took the sign on the street that I grew up on. So you can have whatever whatever your reasoning is. I'm never going to agree with it. I, Bobby, I, I, take I, a understand, I understand why you, I understand, I understand you are why you did it. I understand why you did it, Bobby. And my I cell phone is blowing up, by the way, with how many people are saying, what a ridiculous meeting this is right now. What is the matter? I agree. Let me get I back, agree. Let me get back to what we said in the beginning. Even Mayor Schwager, 10 minutes ago, said she didn't see the signs. Yeah, I, it was very... No, I didn't see the new sign. I didn't see them coming in, I said. <laughs> right. Right, there was no for a picture. Right. I Man, did not see the actual sign here. That's what I said. Actually, At this point, I'm cutting off discussion. There's nothing further to say. Okay. It will be put on the agenda That's as fine. an agenda item for the next meeting, not a work session. And right. we will have, everybody give your opinion as to what you want us to do with the signs. If you want every person who bought a sign to get a refund of $1,500, then we have to have the CFO figure out where the money is going to come from, and then we will start again with new signs for the borough. And with that, we'll go into new business. Does anybody have any new business? Old business. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know no. if, uh, John, you can make, if you want, if this is, if we should bring up um, the situation uh, at Smith's that I brought to your attention under new business. Or no? Uh, Mayor, that's, you know, we could talk about that offline, Grant. Okay. I mean, that's that's something that's, I don't think that, that rises to the occasion for a council meeting. Okay. All right, and then, then we'll move. Any other, any other old business? Um, old business uh, would be uh, suburban news. I know we brought that up a couple of meetings ago, and I just want to know if any, the mayor, you were looking into it the situation with the they are not the changing it i pick up three suburban news at my law office every week i call them nothing you want to call them we'd be very three happy times. to have you call them yeah Grant, i tried three, three, i tried three to times opt out. i've tried i've tried to opt out i mean i walk around i push the stroller every day in the afternoon and it the litter the pollution from these suburban news all over town is really a problem well maybe you'd like to construct a letter we'd love to hear you write a letter to them Mayor, well, perhaps that, perhaps you could put an ad, a suburban news ad hoc committee together, and Councilman Van Eck can run that. <laughs> we will just write a letter. He said he's, if he's willing to write a letter, let him write a letter. Otherwise, we'll have our borough, maybe uh, we'll have Brian write a letter. Richard, do we have? I don't know that we have the. Do we have the? Do right we have the legal to right to do that? I don't know. I don't know, Nalima. You maybe you can just do that. You know, maybe it's the thing. I, I don't. I'm think not it's... sure that you do. Here's what I would suggest. Let me just discuss it with Brian. We'll review it and then we'll advise. Thank I'm, you. I'm not concerned. I'm concerned. Listen, yeah. I have to pick it up in my parking lot every week when that suburban news is dropped off. Yes. There. I, yeah. We'll, I'll talk with Brian and Nilema. I, I think probably at at least we can express to the uh, to the media company what a problem this has become and ask them to honor people's request that their subscriptions become canceled. Um, what good that is that a subscription because no, you know what I'm saying though it's I, I get the record all right Richard I get the record every day I still get the record and on Thursday mornings the suburban news is in my record so it doesn't get thrown on my driveway so I don't know about that but when I go to the law office every week I have to pick up the, the, the three or four suburban newses in plastic bags and go around picking them up. So it's not a subscription. It's people who are not subscribing. All right, any other old business? 
Council committee reports. We'll start with, I'll go around the, the way it is on the table. Grant, then Eck. Okay. Uh, start with the rec commission. There's a lot of excitement. Um, the target for opening back up is June 22nd. Day camp is targeted for July 6th. Uh, Emily uh, Smolensky, congratulations, uh, is the new director hired for camp. Um, uh, everybody's working on finalizing everything and finding guidance in the state. There's so much going on. It's a very exciting time. And I have to sincerely thank all the commissioners, all the volunteers. It was a great meeting on Monday. And everybody's been doing so much. And Mike, for your leadership and what you're doing, um, it's really incredible what the recreation uh, commissioners and the committee is doing. Um, as far as the uh, Oakland uh, Communications Commission, uh, the next meeting is July 6th. It's every, every other month with that commission at 7.30 p.m. Um, parents of our graduates, uh, we'd like to recognize you on Oakland TV uh, for the specialty program this week in Oakland. So email your photo in graduation uh, outfit if you can. Um, and we'll put it up there like it's a diploma, OCC at oakland-nj.org no later than June 20th, so it's coming up soon. Um, and, uh, you know, we're going to turn it into a slideshow, and anybody on uh, uh, the governing body is also welcome to record a few-minute message to the graduates and send them in to us uh, if you want to say congratulations to the graduates, and they'll air that in that episode as well. Um, uh, the episodes uh, are airing of this new TV show uh, very successfully. Uh, the next borough newsletter is going out on July 1st, uh, so please subscribe if you haven't. Um, they're doing a great job with that. And if you have a story idea for the newsletter, um, e e email uh, Liz Laurenti at oaklandcrossroads at gmail.com. And for the planning board, um, just stay tuned to see if the next meeting um, will be held or not. We postponed the last few meetings, um, so we're still to determine whether the next meeting will be held in person. Thank you, Mayor. Councilman Talmini? Yes. Uh, so let's do this. I'm going uh, the way I, I visualize how we should. Okay. Thank you. Um, first, let me apologize to anyone if um, if I haven't, uh, if you've sent me an email or, um, and, and, or I tried to send you an email and you didn't get it. I've been having trouble with my town email. So I Oh, apologize. yeah. We've heard that before. Um, I agree with you. We all are. <laughs> And um, yeah, so you then, want to object to something, object to Office 365. <laughs> so <laughs> now, um, the, the library, uh, they're open 24-7. There's plenty of digital stuff you can do. Um, they're, they're hoping to be open soon, and they're, they're, just, they're getting their direction from the governor and their library board. So uh, when, when it finally does open, please be patient and be uh, understanding. This is all new to them, and uh, if you have any questions, it's open, uh, NewJerseyLibrary.org. All right, thank you very I much. Have, I have a question for the residents when you, you know you put up the website. Is yes. there an inventory of what books they have so that people, if they, if they do end up with the curbside pickup, they can figure out what books are in the library? Is there a place? Is it on the website? I, I'm not sure about that. I could find out, but, I, but, I, but I'm sure if you... If you went on the website, you could find out if the book was available. You know? Okay, thank you. Uh, but I can find out about that. Um, so now, as the the mayor had mentioned, uh, locally the the school board, the K eight, um, they they will be having um, wave parades on June nineteenth, which, which is the last day of school. And um, so so at one one p.m. for for Dogwood Heights and and Manitou. And it'll be for the fifth grade students, and the the teachers will be asked to to come to the building and stand around, and 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 then they'll have the the, the kids will drive around, and they can wave and say hello to their teachers, and and that'll be great. And they'll they'll also do that at 3 p.m. at at Valley Middle School for the eighth graders. Um, the same thing, um, you know, you have to stay in your car, and and uh, and hopefully it's the parents driving, not the students, um, but. Um, so uh so that'll be going on and then um the eighth grade virtual graduation will also be on june 19th at 6 30 um and it'll be it'll be broadcast on channel 77 and and channel 45 for files um and it'll also be on the youtube channel and um 
So all this stuff will be sent out to the students, uh, their, their guardians' uh, emails and stuff like that. So, so you can, you'll be able to click on the, the links for YouTube or, or just go to the, the channel that, that, you're, um, that you would typically watch the, the town meetings on. Um, uh, as for a, 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 an in-person graduation, the, the, the flow district, Franklin Lakes, Wyckoff and Oakland, the uh, eighth grades have, have decided to just do the virtual graduation. Um, because of insurance and because of, of logistics and, and uh, it's just very difficult. It's, it's, not, it's not something easy. You know, just because the, the governor allows something, then there's the Department of Education. And so they have to, they have to follow all those rules. Um, so the, the, the boards of education have, have, have done everything they can. They've bent over backwards trying to figure out, like, like I've said, trying to make lemonade out of, out of lemons. And, and they've been very responsive. And, and, and like I, I keep saying, if, if, as long as they're trying, you, you really can't fault them. And, and I, I want to say thank you to, the, to all the boards of education. Um, and, um, and, and just uh, please bear with them. They're, they're, this, isn't, this isn't a situation that they wanted either. And they're, they're doing what they can. With the, with the advice from their from their lawyers um, now the the high schools the high schools are, are, are will both be done on June 16th the the students will be done um, and then on Tuesday June 23rd there will be a virtual graduation for for uh, Indian Hills at um, yeah for yes on, uh, uh, yes let me hold on let me just make make sure of this before I say something wrong. Um, there will be, yes, on Tuesday, June 23rd at 4.30, uh, Indian Hills will have the virtual graduation and at 6.30, Ramapo will have the graduation. And then on the 23rd, I'm not sure of the date, I didn't have the, the date written down, but on the 23rd, they will have an in-person graduation and they're still figuring that out. But um, so, and, and and part of the reason that they're having it is because most most of the students that will be graduating will be 18. They're adults. This um, they're making the decision to go. There's not you know they you have standards of care that 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 the K to eight districts are you know more more aware of because of the, their their minors. You know so with the with the seniors in high school, most of them are eight uh, are. Like I said, 18, and they're assuming a responsibility. Um, and then, um, and then I, the mayor mentioned the $10,000 grant for the for the driving safety. And um, I think that's it. Oh, just uh, happy happy Flag Day. That's uh, June 14th next uh, this Sunday coming. And uh, just so you know, just uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know it's Flag Day. Uh, for any reason other than it's my wife's birthday so uh happy flag. oh happy birthday to your wife thank you thank you that's all so what, um i just got a message um if michael how does somebody get on and speak at the public portion if they go to the how website do they get to that plane? spot i i think they have to log in mike i think that's the question so could you make an announcement how to do that on television? Mayor, the meeting link is posted on the borough website homepage and on the borough social media, Facebook and Twitter. Uh, the resident must click on the link to register and the meeting link will be automatically emailed to them and then they can join the meeting. Is that, do they hear that on the, on the TV? No, they must go to the borough website. No, no, can they hear that, what you just said? Yes. Okay. Mayor, right. I'd like to make a motion. That we that we say happy birthday to Russ's wife. Happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday. Anybody Thank want you. to second that? So the next one is Councilman Bialy in line. Okay, Senior Center. Uh, Ariel is still continuing to offer the volunteer food shopping program for seniors and those in the community with disabilities or medical conditions, preventing them from food shopping. If anyone needs assistance, they can reach out to the Senior Center at two zero one. 
or by email at seniors at oakland-nj.org. Uh, they are continuing the free Zoom fitness classes uh, weekly. They are open to the entire community. Those interested are asked to register on Community Pass. More information on how to register is available on the Oakland Facebook. If anyone needs assistance, uh, they can call Ariel at the Senior Center, same number, 201-405-7731. The classes are uh, Tuesdays from 1 to 2, Fit for Life, which is a cardio, toning, and balance class. And on Thursdays from 10 to 1045, it's a Zumba class. The Senior Center will be hosting socially distanced outdoor programs on the Senior Center patio beginning the week of June 22nd. Calendar of events will be available online and printed at the cent- at the center beginning next week. Uh, programs will include seated exercise classes and snack and chat social hours. All programs will require pre-registration via phone and email. Additional information and steps on how to register will be on the calendar of events. The- these programs are the only open to will only be open to Oakland seniors ages 55 and older and participants must be registered members of the center to join the senior center residents can call at the same number 201-405-7731 or at seniors at oakland-nj.org now on to the dpw um not much to report because they're concentrating on preparing all the borough buildings for the restart of business parks and recreation areas uh, for the reopening as soon as we are able to. Uh, And that has been the primary focus over the last two weeks. And as the mayor mentioned earlier, uh, put June 20th on your calendar, 9 in the morning to 1 p.m. in front of the uh, municipal building. There'll be a shredding truck there. Bring your boxes of material you'd like to have shredded. And I think there's a limit of four boxes each, Mayor. Uh, So... Put that on the calendar, June 20th, shredding, 9, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Thanks so much. Thank you. Next in line is Councilman Pignatelli. Yes, thank you, Mayor. Um, from the Environmental Commission, team up to clean up is June 12th and 13th. Residents are asked to select a location to clean up on their own and follow social distancing and register with uh, on this email site a-S-S-I-S-T-A-D-M-I-N. That's S, S, shortening for assistant admin at oakland-nj.org. So please register A-S-S-I-S-T-A-D-M-I-N at oakland-nj.org. Any ongoing concerns regarding litter should be directed to the DPW. So please contact them. As far as the green team, Oakland is now at 80.2% response rate for the 2020 census, which is actually pretty good. Uh, All Oakland households, including renters, must respond as soon as possible, and your participation directly affects our community in regard to funding and resources for things like schools, parks, roads, hospitals, and our first response team. It's particularly important in um, getting money from the federal government. Um, DPW continues to sell composters for pickup and delivery. Thank you to all that have purchased them. The DPW is close to selling out on their second round of shipments from Bergen County. The green team has put together a list for their buy fresh, buy local campaign of local farms with additional information about delivery during COVID restrictions. The list can be found on the borough website. Tomorrow, which is Thursday, Carol Peterson from the Green Team is presenting with Sustainable New Jersey Bergen and Union County Hub, a free workshop on composting. Go to the borough website for details and for signing up. The Green Team would like to remind residents to cut it and leave your grass clippings. Please do not cut your grass until it's a minimum of four inches and do not cut it below three inches. Clippings act as a natural fertilizer. And that's it, Mayor, thank you. Thank you. Councilman Levy. Thank you, Mayor. 
Uh, the flood commission did not meet. However, uh, we did do a flood seminar on YouTube. Uh, and I think uh, the last I heard, which is about a week and a half ago, seven residents or eight residents were paying a little bit over $21,000 in combined flood insurance um, by working with uh, the gentleman that helped us do the seminar. They are now paying a combined approximately $3,100. Um, so if we did put it, I know Michael put it on YouTube. I really suggest that anybody, if you're paying flood insurance, Go to the borough website. You can get uh, the the web the uh, email address. I'm sorry is Oakland at knowyourrisk.com. Uh, you can go there. You can give them a you know send them your flood elevation certificate. You can give them your flood declaration page, and they can certainly evaluate it and give you some ideas on how to reduce your flood insurance. I can tell you from a personal standpoint, it was a fortune. I was flabbergasted about how much I was being overcharged by FEMA. So I certainly suggest that everybody does that. Uh, Shade Tree Commission, we're continuing. Actually, right now we're waiting for Nilema's boss to get us the uh, his statements on the revisions to the open shade tree ordinance, which he said he would have in two weeks, two weeks ago. So, you know, give him a hard time for me, please. I'll be happy to. Um, we are hoping to get to our 100 trees a year for new plantings this year. I, and, and to be honest, one of the reasons that we're doing this new ordinance is there's been a lot of confusion regarding our old ordinance and what people's responsibilities are when they remove trees. The, the purpose of the ordinance is not for people to, is not for the borough to collect money. We are trying to protect the canopy. Protecting the canopy in town is essential to the environmental good of the borough which means it's, it's in everybody's best interest for health, that we have a, a, a healthy canopy. And while I understand that there are times when people have to cut down trees, the idea of the ordinance that says if you're going to cut down a healthy tree, you need to replace it. And, and the ordinance does not very well right now specify if you're taking down X amount of size of tree, you need to replace it with you know, X amount of three-inch caliper trees. And we are going to revise that, but we also have not been following up. So yes, the Shade Tree Commission did send out a lot of letters, and I know some people were very upset about it um, because we've asked them, okay, you cut down, you took down your tree. It was with the understanding that you're either going to plant one back on your property or that you're going to pay the borough to plant one somewhere else in town so that we can, again, protect our environment. And that, that's, all, that's all the purpose of the ordinance is. It's not meant to, we're not, the borough's not getting rich on it. So that's, that's my preaching for Shade Tree for this, this, this session. Um, sewer and water. Um, we did get our preliminary approval from the Highlands Commission for our phase one of our sewers, which is the decommissioning of the waste, wastewater treatment plants and the installation of the pump station. Uh, along with that, we want to let everybody know and remind everybody that on June 18th at 1 p.m. Uh, there will be a Zoom meeting uh, regarding the work that we're going to be doing on Huber Lake. Uh, we're going to explain it. I've actually been speaking to residents uh, throughout the last three weeks, John, two weeks, um, and actually some folks have had some great ideas about some things Agreed. that we can do with that property. Uh, subsequent to putting the pump station in, we've already started to work on some of that, so that's coming up, and I guess from um, Capital Projects, uh, tomorrow at 1 o'clock, Mr. Yukimik and I will be having a Zoom meeting with uh, residents on Glen Gray Road so that we can start to discuss with them uh, how they're going to be impacted by the construction of the Patriots Way Bridge. Um, you know, obviously when we go to rebuild the bridge, old bridge has to go away, and since we don't have flying cars yet, we're going to have to divert traffic, um, and we want to let those people on Glen Grain will have a separate meeting if we decide that we have to use the Lenape exit for those residents so that everybody, again, has an idea of what, what our intentions are. We can get their input of, of what, what, what they think of the idea, you know, what they would like us to do if we can. 
um, so we can make this as painless as possible for everybody. And uh, that's it. I'm done. Mayor, can I ask uh, Councilman Levy something? Yeah. Is it hard? <laughs> it shouldn't be. Um, I, I was approached by Does a resident. Does it involve me endorsing and, anything with a sign? No. Okay, then no. go ahead. <laughs> they they um, they asked about the, the meeting uh, at the, the lake, about the, the pump station. Um, they were wondering why you were doing it during the day, because it's it's hard for them to... Uh, them to so he, here's what happened. When... When we realized that we needed to have this meeting, mm -hmm. everything was still in a shutdown. With no, there was no, we really wasn't an end in sight at that point. So the thought, my thought process was, well, let's have it like at one o'clock. This way, there's no need to bother everybody's dinner, and and you know, it just seemed like a good idea. Everybody was home. You know, fortunately, everything started to open up. That's the reason. All right, because they're, they're just saying they wouldn't, wouldn't be, you know, because now they're back to work and they wouldn't be able to take off. To well, the so, so the option is we would have to re-advertise it and this would then just get delayed even more and people are pushing for it. They All right, can't, and then... Unfortunately, they can't yeah. have it both ways. And then, um, so what's happening, like, because like, we really haven't discussed much as a council about this. So what, what right, will you well, so here, here's what's going on. As everybody knows, we have these three wastewater treatment plants that are, they're finished. There, there's no life left in them. And, and we're probably looking at, and Rich, I'm sure you've made, or I think it was what, $10 million to replace them. And that doesn't uh, include no, it was, the regulations. It was like, we're like, we're like four. Four per plant though, wasn't it? No, 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 that was kind of in the aggregate. I thought we came up with a $10 million total number between everything we had to do. Maybe I'm wrong. So we have to $4 million. This plant for $4 million. And then we would have to operate the plant under all the new DEP reg, all these plants under new DEP regulations. They get stricter every, 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 um, every uh, permit cycle. So that means when it gets stricter, it gets more expensive. So the thought, the idea was we're going to remove these three wastewater treatment plants. We're going to bring the, the material, some of the material like from Skyview and is going to come down by Huber Lake where we're going to install a pump station on the upper corner of the lot right up against Lakeside Boulevard. That material is going to get pumped down towards Franklin Avenue. It's going to make a left on Franklin, go up to the top of the hill, and then Bergen County uh, Utility Authority is going to tie in with a line from there to take it to Waldwick. The idea is we will then take these three plants offline and we will turn those 120 something, how 129 rich? Or 229, I always forget. Uh, yeah, about about 230 or so. Or Okay, so we're going to take those 230 houses off of these wastewater treatment plants and so that you understand a wastewater treatment plant in, in its simplest explanation is a very esoteric community septic system. So when you're looking at something like the Skyview plant, which is right up diagonal to Huber Lake, right now what's happening is those houses are dumping into Skyview, that material gets treated, and the effluent actually goes to Huber Lake. This is how it was designed, this is how it was done back in the day. So one of the benefits that everybody at Huber Lake is going to see from this is once the pump station goes active, the wastewater treatment plant goes offline, and instantly there is no more effluent going into the lake from the pump stations. The only effluent that will be going into the lake will be from the septic systems that are in the area that are not on the sewer system. Um, so, one more question relative to that. Yes. Um, another well, wait. I'm sorry, Pat Russ, did I answer your question? Uh, yes, thank, thank you. Okay, good, Pat, I'm sorry. Uh, well, another resident contacted me, and I think I brought this up last week. Skip? I guess Mr. Yakemic is on mute, but uh, they had asked that... Not anymore. The, they had asked that this uh, pump station uh, be screened with Arborvitae or, or, or whatever, so that... So, let me... So, actually, John, John and I went up there because I... Because people were afraid we were putting this massive building up. So I asked John to meet me up there. 
and we went up there and we staked it out. There's actually orange stakes in the ground that sort of show the outline of where this entire, what this entire facility, not just the building, but I'm talking about the fence. So this is the outside footprint is all staked out. Um, so we put that up there, and while we were there, we were talking to some of the residents. So our original design, I believe, John, was called for a chain link fence. They said, hey, can we put up like a black powder metal fence? The answer is easily, not a problem. They just need to tell us whether they want it to be a six-foot fence, an eight-foot fence. If it's eight-foot, do they want the kind with the tines that go out? Do they want the kind with the tines that go in? Do they want it with the straight? And then we talked about plantings. So I contacted uh, my go-to guy for planting stuff. I talked to Ed Clark. I said, we need something that's going to help cover that facility from view um, that is not going to be something that's going to attract deer and that's not going to want to go into the ground and start attacking, you know, any pipes. And the first words out of his mouth were something called green giant arborvitaes. Mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't know one if it came up and bit me, but that's what we intend to put around it. Thank you. Um, so, I mean, we're, and then actually subsequent conversations have result, revolved around maybe turning that property into a park, um, perhaps even a community garden. I spoke with the Environmental Commission. They're very interested in doing it and looking for some... Uh, in addition grants. to the other community garden. Yes. But maybe, or maybe it's just going to be some sort of passive pocket park. You know, maybe they'll, maybe they'll we'll put some benches there. But we can certainly fix the property up as part of this because, John, you guys are going to beat that daylights out of the property when you do the construction. You need to fix it when you leave. Oh, yes, you. <laughs> I'm sorry. You have the little yellow vest that says Boswell on the back. Pat, did that help you at yeah, all? Thank you very much. Okay. Rich? Uh, yeah, just to Russ's point, um, we're going to run uh, the – Oh, right. Thank you. On YouTube, both live and it'll be there to be recorded. So any residents that can't participate can certainly watch it uh, after the fact and contact us with any follow-up questions that they have. Okay. Thank you. And I'd actually like to thank uh, Barbara Stansfield. That was her idea. So she needs to get credit for that. I didn't, I didn't even think of it. That was, that was all her. And now we're up to Councilman Knapp. Thank you, Mayor. You still there? I'm here. I'll be brief. Uh, I have no report. I thought you were Bob. What? I thought you were Bob. I am Bob. So I have no report from the fire department nor the first aid squad uh, this meeting. A uh, message from Chief Sanzari for the police department. On Tuesday, June 2nd, 2020, Approximately 300 people participated in an organ, organized demonstration in the borough of Oakland. The police department would like to thank all those who participated in the event for remaining peaceful and respectful throughout. We as a department join law enforcement agencies across the country in denouncing the tragic death of George Floyd on May 25th. What occurred that day was disturbing and indefensible. The mission of the Oakland Police Department has always been to work harmoniously with all citizens to create a safe environment consisting of mutual respect, trust, and dignity. With unwavering faith and honor, we will, continuing, we will continue sorry, to demonstrate our commitment to the safety and prosperity of the community, Chief Sanzari. And with that, we, uh, well, the mayor actually received a thank you uh, little email from, from uh, I assume, a resident uh, it was addressed to Captain Timothy Keenan. Uh, dear Captain Keenan, I want to thank you and the Oakland Police Department, along with the others in the flow area, for the great job ensuring everyone's safety during the protest march last Tuesday, June 2nd. I appreciate the job the Oakland Police Force does on a daily basis for this community. Thank you, John John D. Gloria. Um, so that was that was two nice things. We all know we had the um, the march in town. It was. It was handled, uh, I think, very well from from a public safety perspective. Chief Sendera did an outstanding job of coordinating it through the, 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 the numerous agencies that were involved. Um, the one thing I will bring up, and I heard from uh, less than half a dozen, but enough, um, 
businesses within the borough, that, and, I, and, I, and I spoke to the administrator about this, a lot of the businesses feel that we could have done a better job communicating to them. Um, and it's not just for the march in particular, but in this case, because of what was happening with marches elsewhere, they were concerned, you know, those that are in the, the, the CBD, they were concerned, what should I do with my store? Should I close it? Should I board it up? I mean, I was getting quite a few calls. And, and we could have done better. And I, and I apologize to them that they're right. We, we should have done a little bit better. But it's not just the protest. There's other times, um, you know, when we have dignitary type funerals going through town and we're going to lock up the center of town. We should let the store owners know that even if it's 30 minutes, we're going to cause a traffic issue and, and you may be affected by it. So um, not a big deal, but something that we need to learn from. And like I said, I spoke to Rich about it, and going forward, I think we all agree that we could do a little bit better. Bob, maybe uh, did you say? Thank you. Yeah. I know we use uh, Swift Reach. Um, I, I I know with nine one one, you can have different groups of people. Maybe we could constitute a group of just store owners, and Rich then he has that. They they have a uh, a, a business a group email for all of the businesses within the borough. Uh, okay. Bob, Bob we, we have them primarily for the restaurant. I don't know that we have uh, oh, okay. information for most of the businesses. That may be something that we need to work on. Uh, but certainly to send out targeted information like that, there are ways to go about doing it. Yes, absolutely. Yep. Yeah. This, uh, and, and this particular protest sprung on us at the last minute. So, But you're right, Bobby. We really should be prepared and help our businesses in town. Thank you for that idea. Um, Great Oak Park is marching along. Uh, nothing specific to report. The dog park, uh, as you know, is is going to be in the process of being built. Hey, uh, Lou. Yes, ma'am. Or Lou, sir. All the, rocks that, the rocks that are still left down by the wreck field by the river, are any more of those being removed to go to the dog park, or is that it? Uh, as far as I know, they took everything that they could move. So, you know, John? Kevin, we're gonna we're, we're gonna take Kevin up on his offer. Yeah, to Kevin get rid of them. will be rolling them up the hill to the dog park. Well, whatever we do, and we need to get them out of there because people are complaining. Okay, um, I'll, I'll work on that. So Kevin, it made, it Kevin told Linda and I four or five years ago, if you don't use them, I'll I'll get them out of here. That's what he said. That means me. <laughs> that okay. means you. <laughs> Thank you for doing right, that. That's my report. Thank you. Thank you. With that, motion to open to the public. So moved. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Mayor, first up, Vivian King. Hi, Vivian. Hi, my name is Vivian King, 113 Hiawatha Boulevard. I, um, I was watching the meeting strictly because my phone blew up at, I have to be honest, the circus that was happening. Um, the attacks on some of the council people was shameful. Um, I remember the meeting that I watched at which you all talked about the signs and how Eric Kamala, when he was running for mayor, was going crazy about the fact that there were no welcome to Oakland signs. And I know that there was a huge pushback that taxpayers did not want to spend money on o welcome to Oakland signs. Everyone who lives around here knows that you're coming into Oakland and there's plenty of signs that say that this is Oakland, the signs that hang from the lamppost, the signs that hang from the street post. There, there was a lot of pushback. You came up with the Lou, please. That's part of the problem, to be honest. So anyway, as I was saying, um, there was plenty of pushback from the, from many people in town that there was no reason to spend that money. You came up with an idea of getting sponsors. People have paid their money. People are expecting their names on that sign. There are plenty of people who have their personal names as their business. My family included in Wyckoff, our name is our business name. People have paid their money. You have exercised a contract. I believe that Russ and Pat voted yes towards those signs. And at the end of the day, 
the way that you all behaved to each other was shameful and I am embarrassed for you. For those of you attacking and being so petty as to say that the townspeople who paid money to sponsor those signs, that was shameful. And that's all I have to say and I don't want anyone to answer me about it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Michael, anybody else? Remember the public, please click on the raise your hand button on the bottom right hand side or click your name. Mayor, I see no one. Motion to close. Andrew has her hand up. Dana. Dana. Dana Hi, my name is Dana Gandro. I'm here with my daughter Abigail and we're about 43 acorn now. So I was. Bad connection. Is that any better? No. So, so I was. The whole Darth Vader thing. Anybody else? Well, wait a minute. We ought to see if we can maybe get, get her to speak somehow. I can fix this. She, she, Bob, maybe I can help her. Bob, maybe I can help her. Better. I doubt it. Really, Pat? <laughs> Motion to close. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. She just chatted. She just chatted. I just saw her message. This is about the chicken ordinance. It is. Okay. So where are, is the, where are we with the chicken ordinance? We were waiting for Brian to come up with um, a proposed ordinance and ideas for us that we were going to discuss. So we will have to postpone this till the next meeting. So Nilema, would you please tell Brian he was going to send us some suggestions on the chicken ordinance. Mayor. 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 Yes. I believe you also said that he should send the copy to me for the Board of Health. To discuss. Right, but he didn't send to anybody. No, he didn't. Yeah. Can, can I, yes. uh, Pat, Brian I, Brian, I believe sent you a copy of, a, of an ordinance used in another town for you to share with the Board of Health. And that was probably got a, that, Brian, Pat? a week or so ago. I'll have to look again. I didn't see anything in my email, but I'll look again. Okay. I, All right. um, I'll, I'll, t I'll take a look because I, I think I was copied on it. I'll reset. Okay, it. thank you. All right. We had a hard time hearing you, but just so you know, our, our attorney was sending a sample ordinance to be reviewed by the by our health, our health um, board, Board of Health, and that we will discuss. It will be on the agenda for the next meeting. So at this time, Councilman Talamini, bills to be paid. Yes, bills to be paid, $318,097.33, so moved. Second. Any discussion? Roll call. Councilman Bialy. Yes. Councilman Knapp. Yes. Councilman Levy. Yes. Councilman Pignatelli. Yes. Councilman Talamini. Yes. Councilman Van Ack. Yes. At this time, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So please. Second. 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 All in favor? Aye. Aye. Next Aye. week, we'll be here back on Zoom on June 24th. Amen. See you then. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night.